So, seems like Raleigh Romero is innocent. Before we get into the video, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. So, as uh, many people have reported, myself included, Raleigh Romero was forced to step out of the Gavon Davis showdown because he was accused of assault. Uh, you know what type of assault. I can't say the word because my video will be demonetized. Now, Raleigh Romero posted to his Instagram saying that he has no charges against him because he was innocent all along. And like I bashed him because I thought he was guilty, I will praise him because he is not guilty. It would have been horrible for charges to be against him had he done such a thing. Obviously, would have deserved it, but it would have been a black eye on boxing. It would have been a black eye on all athletes, on all young men. Now, it's good that he did not do that, and it's good that he will not serve prison time for something he did not do. Now, there is a boxing scene article. Uh, let me read it from the beginning. Rolando Raleigh Ramiro is free to resume his boxing career, and months-long investigation to allegations of, you know what, assault has concluded with no charges to be filed against the unbeaten lightweight contender. Accusations were made last October by 24-year-old Isabel Zambrano accusing Ramiro of you know what assault from a September 2020 encounter in the boxer's North Las Vegas apartment. So you know what's funny? I'm gonna take a break from the article. You know what's funny? That from September 2020, she said that the assault occurred. She didn't come out and try to press charges on him immediately until he was about to get the bag against Ryan Davis. That just makes you just a note of advice to any young man out there. Don't mess around with any woman. Try your best not to go out with any woman that you meet, even if they're attractive. Or that A lot of women are snakes. And to any woman watching, don't go out with any guy. A lot of guys are monsters. So you got to know the person first before you go out with them, man. A lot of people are being tricked. A lot of people are being hurt. And it would have been real fucked up to see this happen to Raleigh Romero that he would go to jail. Or he did lose a big fight over something that didn't happen and something that happened over a year before. And they chose to come out and talk about it once he got the bag. Real shameful act from uh, this young lady, Isabel Zambrano. Now let's resume the article. The matter was presented to the Henry Henderson Police Department to open a case file in late October. Ramiro was due to face unbeaten rising star Gravana Tank Davis at the time, but was removed from the December 5th short-time pay-per-view event in Los Angeles once an official investigation was underway. After two, Now this is a quote from Ramiro himself. After two and a half months of my name being slandered with false accusations, having to miss out on opportunities, cheated out of my dream and out of a massive amount of wealth, the investigation into the allegations made against me has been formally accused. Romero revealed Monday evening through his verified social media account. Charges were not filed because the allegations could not be substantiated because, as I always stated, I am innocent. Romero lost out on a lucrative opportunity less than two weeks after taking part in an on-site press conference October 21 outside the venue formerly known as Stable Center. The daytime presser saw Ramiro shirtless and only sporting a fur coat in 80 degree heat hurled a series of profanities at Davis with the event making the media runs before he was ultimately removed from the show on November 1 through a joint decision between Showtime and other promotions who promotes Romero and Davis and Premier Boxing Champions. Romero was replaced by Mexico's Isaac Cruz, who dropped a 12 run. I, I guess none of the rest is important. But now he's proven innocent. Will they try to make the Gravine of Davis fight again? Because I think that fight will draw interest. Especially since people saw that Gravana Davis is not as elite as they might have thought he was. In the Isaac Cruz fight, I was not shocked. You know... Being exposed or not exposed is all has to do with perception. Um, many American uh, boxing fans don't know this YouTube channel, but his name is Hatman Boxing. He's always talked about this, even upsets. They all have to do with perception. How do you perceive Gravine Davis? I thought Gravine Davis was going to knock out Isaac Cruz because Isaac Cruz was not a good fighter. 
But I knew Gravon Davis did not have elite power at lightweight. And what my perception was proved on fight night. Gravon Davis is a very hard puncher at super featherweight. I did not expect his power to carry to lightweight. Now let's see. Riley Romero fought on July 2021 against Anthony Egan. So I, I think Gravon is going to rematch Cruz. He should find the undercard that the winner should face. I think uh, Romero would give Gravon a decent, a decent test. He has power, he has size, he has reach. I think he'll trouble Davis a bit. I think Davis will get to him eventually and not come out brutally. But I st- I'm still intrigued in that fight. Because as I said before, these guys who have characters, they usually put on special performances. They don't go out like that. Uh, nothing scientific based on my take. Nothing I've seen from Romero in the ring that makes me think that he's going to put on a special performance. But usually, these characters throughout boxing history, they give you a special performance. And like you'd be extremely biased to deny that Romero does have a funny character, a special character. And I think he will give Davis some trouble. I still expect Davis to win by... Vicious knockout eventually. But before we get to that point, I'm expecting to get to a fight for Davis. Now, give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Sadiq Boxing, out.